Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, just popped in to do it a little thrifty Thursday. I've been doing a little bit of shopping lately, so I figured I would pop on and show you what I have found. Um, there was a, uh, what was it, a literacy. They were selling books for, for uh, literacy, I think, um, at our local Coliseum here last week, I believe it was. And um, so, of course, all of us junk journalers in the city, I'm sure, ran over to the uh, the event to see what we could find. And I was able to pick up a few books. Now, it was went, definitely was went through. Um, I only went in on a Saturday. It started on a Friday night. But within the first four hours of uh, Friday, there was 1,600 people that were at the event, so I don't think we would have been able to see too many books anyway. But um, so I'll just kind of show you what I found. This here is like a little journal, Days to Remember, from you know, long time ago, I guess. And what was this? Done. Oh, I guess it's not that that old. 2007. It looks older than it is, I guess. So I thought this would be good to tear out and pop into journals. Um, love the color. It just has that uh, caramel kind of patina. Old pictures, black and white photos you can take out and make ephemera with. with. Um, yeah, so I just thought that was a good little addition to my book collection. And I think I paid three, yeah, three dollars for that one. This is a puzzle book of animals. Um, I paid three dollars for this one. This one here is... Nineteen forty nine. So I just loved, 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 loved the art of the animals that are in here. The print is very big, um, but the the animals drawings are illustrations are beautiful. And I figured these would make really nice uh, embellishments for an uh, animal journal of some sort. Beautiful, beautiful pictures. Nineteen forty nine. So three dollars score there. Um, my aunt actually found this one for me because she knows that I love, I'm, I want to do a million Christmas journals because I feel like that's my niche. I love Christmas. Um, so I was looking for some old Christmas things and she had found this one and they, all the art is in blue. So I think this would be such a good addition to a nice like blue, uh, blue journal for Christmas. It has some wear and tear of course, but though <laughs> the pages are kind of fragile. I, I feel this has been through the ringer. It doesn't seem like it's that that old, but the page has been ripped out actually. Uh, oh no, wait a second. Sorry. Uh, 1975, so it's a little older than me. Um, but just like look at the art. Love, 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 love. So that would be a good addition to my Christmas journaling stuff. Some more animals. Uh, 34 pictures in color. So I like the art in this. It's just the uh, old stories, Puss in Boots, Peter Rabbit. Um, but the art was really nice and old in here as well. This is like kind of, uh, what do they call that? It's like in the old comic books. It's like dotted art. I can't remember what that's called. But um, that's how the the illustrations are made or it's just with dots of color. Love, love. Beautiful. So that was like another good one, children's book. And then I found this one. Um, Cecilia Valdez, whoever. Um, fell in love with the color of the pages. The pages are different in this book. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of texture in the book, in, in the pages. Um, and it's, I think it's germ, no, what is this? And I don't even know what language this is. It was in the different languages book. Um, 1984, it's not even that old. Uh, according to this, for this publication, but it's just the paper. The paper is definitely different. When I picked it up, it looks old, but I don't think it is. But anyway, picked that up. Then I got this one, which is sign 1920. 
her Myrtle with Love. Um, just old illustrations, black and white. This is what I fell in love with in this book. Um, love the birds, the lily ponds, lots of birds, um, a lot of old illustrations. And good color of the pages. The pages are just quite thick too. Um, it has that thicker texture of the paper, so I could do a lot with that with ephemera, I think. And then this one was the last one that I got at the at the fair, at the book fair. It is a German to English dictionary, is what this is. Um, loved the font that is in this. It's very much that like old font. I don't know how else to explain that. Um, but loved this dictionary. I don't have a lot of different languages, so um, this one was a nice addition. And then here it has this like insert part that somebody taped in here, glued in here. So German form, how to read it, and then in English, in Roman form. So it's kind of neat. Little dictionary. Anyway, added that. So that was just for my book fair. And then I went for a little thrifty haul. Um, I had gone to our thrift store, Salvation Army. And of all things, I can never find crafty things ever, ever, ever. I usually find books, I usually find other things, but never crafty things. So this was the first time that I actually seen crafty things. So this bag of Memento inks for $2.99 and it comes with two, four, six, eight ink Memento inks for $30. I figured this was a good deal. Sorry for the crinkle. Should open that up. Beautiful colors. I don't know if this came in. I don't have. I've never bought Memento, or what's this one? Brilliance. So I guess this one is a different one. This one looks like it's sparkly. How do you open it? Like that. Let's see what this does. I have lots of juice in that. Oh, it is. It's like a metallic. Well, those are pretty. Hmm. So these ones are the metallic ones, the Brilliance, and then these ones are mementos, so I thought that was a really good deal. Three dollars for all those. Yep, I thought so. So I'm always looking for tools, and I found this bag. I'd opened it already because I wanted to try these punches. Bag of punches for $9.99. So this one here at EK6000, love, or EK, not 6000, EK whatever that is. EK success, sorry. Um, love these 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 punches these things are amazing good quality I have a lot of different ones and honestly I wish all my punches were this brand but I haven't got there yet <laughs> so this one here uh, is a Martha Stewart punch and it's her butterfly I can't find this one anymore I don't think you can find Martha Stewart punches anymore actually um, but this one is my the biggest one that I have of the of a butterfly now I have little tiny butterfly punches so I'm really happy to get that one this I thought was a bigger round circle punch. I thought it was like a two and a quarter or two and a half. I have one a two inch already and come to find out this one's a two inch as well. But you know what? We all know that the blades kind of wear out. So I'll keep that one for a backup. And then I got a heart punch one. Just a little one. I think I have one of these as well somewhere that I got in a another grab bag at uh, the thrift store. But anyway, that would be a little addition as well. So I have got those. Well, let's see what else I was able to find. So at Salvation Army, I also found this book. And uh, this is an, oops, this one's going to hit here. This one's an old sewing book um, from Better Homes and Gardens. I'm not sure the year of it. I don't know if there's a year thing in it or not. Hmm. 
not really sure, but all the imagery for the patterns, it must be like 60s, I would say, I think. Maybe somebody could tell me what this, what years this would actually be. Uh, Jen, if you're listening and watching this, if this is something you'd want for your sewing journal, just send me a message. I will definitely hand this over to you because as soon as I saw it, I kind of thought of you anyway. Um, but anyway, so this is the binder's type. It's quite big. I can't hardly open it there with my camera, but that was the one of the books that I found there. And then I also found other books. These are the ones I was kind of... So, as I was telling you about my Christmas obsession, these are old Christmas books that I was able to find at Salvation Army. Um, love, love, love that the print in here is all in green. It's a bunch of uh, Christmas carols. Um, you can cut these out, make embellishments with them. Just, oh, love, love the imagery in here. It's pretty much all the same, actually, I just realized that. But it has uh, all the, uh, it's Christmas party carol book. Oh, I see what it is. You hand, you rip these out and you give these to a person at your party. Oh, they're all like perforated. Right here. Well, isn't that neat? And that way everybody's singing along. Ha! Huh, cute! So, doesn't say what year this is from. But... Crowley's. I don't know where that is. 1980. 1990? 1990. Copyright 1990. Uh, circa 1975, I guess. So, yeah. So I thought that was a good addition to my Christmas haul. And then I finally was able to find some ideal Christmas books. I've been on the hunt for these forever. Um, they're not super old. Uh, what year are these ones? My goodness. Oh, I don't know how to read those Roman numerals. If anybody knows how to read that, we can see that. No, I can't see that. Anyway, they're old. Um, I figured these would be a great addition to pop into the journals as well because look at the imagery oh love the old santa oh in love 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 with that picture both of them oh my yeah so the, i got one i got two same thing if you guys have ever seen these you probably i haven't seen them up close um i always see them online so I was so happy to actually find them. And I think I only paid like 99 cents each or something like that for them. Very cheap. So I got this one. And... Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm in love. Totally, totally, totally geeking out with that. Love those. Perfect. So, got those to... Ooh, sorry, hit that. Got those for the edition of my book stash. I also found these embossed tiles, 4 by 7 embossed tiles. So, to me they're a chipboard, yeah, chip tiles. Don't really need the packaging. you're going to be able to see the emboss. Oh, but these are neat. So, can you kind of see the embossing here? It's a compass, I believe, or a clock. I think it's a compass. And this would be a clock here. You see that? So this would be nice with um, even just brushing some ink over them or some paint. But they're kind of different. 
I mean, I nice those uh, tag backgrounds for journals. 99 cents, so, you know, couldn't leave those there. They're so different. And then I found some more ink. These were $2.99. And one is new. This one was new. This one, it says clear stamp ink. So I think it was... I thought. Oh, clear stamp ink. Okay, well... That is not clear, that's black. <laughs> so I don't know what that's why that's saying that. Weird. And this one wasn't opened, so I assume they're both black. Clear stamping. Oh, wait a second. Why does it say clear? No, these are black. This one's black, and this this one's new, this one's black, and then this one, yeah, red. Is red. Well. And juice, look at the juicy. So that'd be good for my Christmas. Got lots of Christmas things to do. So there's three more ink pads for two. What did I say? Two ninety nine. Perfect. And let's see. Is that no? One more day. So I also went to Value Village this week. Have to stop at Value Village at least once every couple weeks just to see what we can find. And of course, I found a bunch of things making me spend my dollars. Okay, side. So, as everybody's obsession is going on, oh, oops, sorry, that just went all my books. Um, this here is uh, the golden books that I found. I have a bunch of golden books, and now I have like kind of an obsession of buying them. But I figured this one would be a nice addition for a Christmas. Um, a Christmas journal and the cover is nice I, I think I can clean it up a little bit I think that's just crayon I think I can get that off and then this one how things grow I thought this would be a really really cute gardening journal um, so I'm gonna do a gardening journal with this one eventually but anyway so two more editions of the golden books and that was it for books from there so I also found these doilies, $3.99, this big pack of small doilies. So Value Village, you can always find lots of doilies, I bought millions of them, not millions, but lots. But when I get them home, they're like big doilies, so you have to like cut them up in pieces or whatever and then they unravel. And So I was looking for small ones, and this one isn't small small, but these ones here I feel like I can cut the circles out and then make flowers, bases, or something out of, and then there's small ones in the middle as well, or I could put this right on a cover, or use it as pockets, whichever, but anyway, that's, that's the biggest one, or one of the bigger ones, and then there's this one, this one's kind of big, but it's orange, which would be nice for like a, a Halloween journal, something like that, so there's that big one, and then we're getting into smaller ones, so this one here is actually a coaster, uh, or like a pot, hot uh, coaster I think because they hang up this one um, but I feel like I could probably use this one even though it's a little thick I feel like I could maybe make this into a one big flower or something on a big I don't know what I'm gonna do with that but we'll do something but these are really what I wanted <laughs> these little tiny little um, crocheted little coasters Look how cute that is so finally found a bunch of them Somebody was having fun making these little ones. Honestly, I just want the little ones. <laughs> so that's a really good addition. And this one was just a little paper one that was in the pack. So that was a good score there. And then, of course, you know, envelopes. You can't have enough envelopes in our lives or world. So $2.99 for this huge pack of envelopes. I'm not going to open them because they're just going to burst all over the place. Oh, there goes my phone. And last but not least was $3.99 for these border rolls. Now, I wish I was doing this back in the 90s um, when, you know, border and wallpaper was such a huge abundance. You could find this everywhere and cheaply. 
um, now you'll try to find it. It's ridiculously priced. <laughs> um, so when you see it at thrift stores, pick up pieces. <laughs> I found this one. I love, love, love the imagery in this. These are perfect images I can use in um, in a nature journal or a bird watching journal, anything like that. Um, I feel like the pictures can be cut out easily and glued down. I'm going to love using this. I have one sort of similar to it, but not quite that one. Then I was able to find another bird one that was in the same package. This one, I'm not a big fan of the yellow background, but the images on this one as well are going to be nice to cut out and use either in an art journal or a junk journal. I'm not really sure. I think the art journal is going to I think you can do something really, really nice with that. Um, well, even being in a junk journal, but I think the art journals, I think I'm going to use this a lot more in that. A huge roll, so I've got lots to play with. Lots, lots, lots. That's one good thing with these big rolls of border. Like, if you see that, what are you going to use all that? That's a lot of birds to use. Oh, I keep on hitting my camera. And the last one that was in the pack are the, this roll here. So sculpted border, very much just floral pattern, uh, Roman uh, columns. So it could get used in different things. Could cut them out and have this as uh, fussy cutting. Um, could use them in a art journal or even a junk journal. Make your pockets. Have this at the as a top pop, as the top of the pocket if you wanted to. Um, lots of things you could do with these as well. I have, I'm gonna do a video on just using wallpaper because I come to collect. I have a, a quite a bit of a collection of it now, um, and I haven't used a lot of it yet in projects, so definitely more of a collector at this point. So definitely need to make a video or two of those. And uh, that is it, guys, for my little Thrifty Thursday haul. I haven't been doing a lot lately, um, trying not to buy, trying to use. I've been reorganizing my craft room. Um, I might do a craft room tour soon just to let you just to show you what's going on in here um right now it is tore apart <laughs> it I, yeah i don't even know where to begin in here right now so yeah so anyway you guys have a great day thanks for joining me thanks for going through my little haul with me i hope you guys found lots of things at thrifty thursday um and looking forward to seeing what you guys got take care Bye bye